Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss the study of effect of drugs on locomotor activity using actophotometer by Professor Sabashek. So first we'll see the aim of the experiment. So aim of the experiment is to study the central nervous system depressant property of chlorpromazine on the locomotor activity of mice using actophotometer so actophotometer is the instrument by which we can check the cns depressant or cns stimulant activity of any drug on the mice principle so most of the cns acting drug influence the locomotor activity in men and animals the cns depressant drugs such as barbiturate and alcohol reduce the motor activity as we all aware of ki cns depressant are the drug which reduces the motor activity whereas cns stimulant are the drug which increases activity or uh, which increases motor activity while the drugs such as caffeine and amphetamine increase the activity in other word the locomotor activity can be the index of wakefulness or alertness of mind activity the locomotor activity can be measured using a actophotometer which operate on photoelectric cell which are connected in a circuit with a counter so basically when the beam of light falling on the photo cell is cut off by the animal a count is recorded an actophotometer could have either circular or a square arena in which the animal moves both rats and mice may be used for testing in this equipment so this is the actophotometer so you can see here this is the actophotometer and this is the actual apparatus so this lid is open when we open the lid the inside of this box we can see here this circular type of arena so here this is the light source this one is the light source and this is the photo cells so when the photo cells when the light fall on this photo cells what happens there is a path of light is created here so now requirements what is the requirement to perform this experiment animal so animal required here is mice 20 to 25 gram drug chlorpromazine hydrochloride dose is 3 mg per kg intraperitoneally equipment actophotometer So now we'll see the procedure weigh the animals and number them then turn on the equipment so basically we'll on the photo, uh, actophotometer and we'll check and make sure that all the photo cells are working for accurate reading then place the individually each mouse in the activity cage for 10 minutes and note the basal activity score for all animal so you can see here in the video before chlorpromazine what happens when we place the animal into the activity cage as the animal moves in the activity cage the beam of light falling on the photo cell is cut off and this is recorded as a count so you can see here before chlorpromazine the animal is moving freely and will Uh, let the animal move in the activity cage for about 10 minutes and after 10 minute will record the reading so reading after 10 minute come here as 140 okay so now what we'll do now we'll inject a 1 ml per 100 gram of our drug that is chlorpromazine and after 30 minute we'll again retest each mouse for the activity score for 10 minute okay so here in this video after chlorpromazine what happens the animal as chlorpromazine is a cns depressant so because of the cns depressant activity of chlorpromazine the locomotor activity of the mice is reduced so that's why the now the mice is moving slowly as compared to the earlier one so here after 10 minute will record the reading so after 10 minute the reading come here is around 70 so you can see here clearly that before chlor before chlorpromazine the reading is 140 and after uh, chlorpromazine this reading is 70 now note the difference in the activity before and after chlorpromazine and then calculate the percent decrease in motor activity so this is the table so he, this is a different uh, this is the uh, here we have taken the five uh, animal 
then body weight is 20 22 25 20 20 then according to body weight will give the dose as 3 mg per kg chlorpromazine so before the locomotor activity okay so locomotor activity score in 10 minute before our drug is 135 142 151 125 and 130 so we'll uh, calculate the mean value it come here is 136.6 and after it is 60, 70, 72, 63, 65. So here the mean value come here is 66. So now we'll calculate the percent decrease in activity. So we'll use the formula A minus B divided by A into hundreds. So it will come here as 51.63. So now we'll plot the graph. So decrease in locomotor activity. So this is nothing but the CRS depressant effect. So before chlorpromazine, the activity score come here as 136.6. But after chlorpromazine, the locomotor activity is reduced to 66. So this will show the CNS depressant effect. Now the same procedure. So now the next drug is amphetamine. So amphetamine is a CNS stimulant. So what happens before amphetamine, the activity score come here in 10 minute is 130, 120, uh, 127, then 135, uh, 133, 125, 123. So we'll calculate the mean of it. So it will come here as 127.6. And after the activity score is increased. Why? Because amphetamine is a CNS stimulant. So we'll calculate the mean of it so it will come here is 154.6 so now we'll calculate the percent increase in activity so it will come here as 21.15 percent so we'll plot the graph so you can clearly see here before amphetamine the our uh, the activity score is 127.6 but after amphetamine the activity score increase to 154.6 and this is and, and this why this is so because of the cns stimulant effect of the amphetamine the next drug we have is caffeine so here again caffeine is a cns stimulant so initially before caffeine the activity score is around 126.6 but after giving caffeine, the locomotor activity score of the mice increased to 189.9. So, percent increase in activity is around 50%. So, when we plot the graph, we can clearly see here that before caffeine, the, uh, the activity score is 126.6 and after caffeine, the activity score is increased to 189.9. So, this will indicate the CNS stimulant effect of caffeine. So inference or we can say the observation. So reduction in motor activity indicate a CNS depressant property of drug. Whereas increase in motor activity increase, uh, indicates the CNS stimulant property of the drug. So this is all about the practical. Thank you.